Learn English from the Bible. Genesis 28 Jacob searches for a wife. Isaac called Jacob and blessed him. Then Isaac commanded him, You must not marry a Canaanite woman. Go to the house of Bethuel, your mother's father, in northwest Mesopotamia. Laban, your mother's brother, lives there. Marry one of his daughters. May God all-powerful bless you and give you many children. May you become the father of many peoples. May the Lord give you and your descendants the blessing of Abraham. Then you may own the land where you are now living as a stranger. This is the land God gave to Abraham. So Isaac sent Jacob to northwest Mesopotamia. Jacob went to Laban, the brother of Rebekah. Bethuel, the Aramean, was the father of Laban and Rebekah. And Rebekah was the mother of Jacob and Esau. Esau learned that Isaac had blessed Jacob and sent him to northwest Mesopotamia. Jacob went to find a wife there. Esau also learned that Isaac had commanded Jacob not to marry a Canaanite woman. And Esau learned that Jacob had obeyed his father and mother. He had gone to northwest Mesopotamia. So Esau saw that his father Isaac did not want his sons to marry Canaanite women. Now Esau already had wives. But he went to Ishmael son of Abraham. And he married Mahalath, Ishmael's daughter. Mahalath was the sister of Nebaioth. Jacob's Dream at Bethel Jacob left Beersheba and set out for Haran. He came to a place and spent the night there because the sun had set. He found a stone there and laid his head on it to go to sleep. Jacob dreamed that there was a ladder resting on the earth and reaching up into heaven. And he saw angels of God going up and coming down the ladder. And then Jacob saw the Lord standing above the ladder. The Lord said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your grandfather. And I am the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are now sleeping. Your descendants will be as many as the dust of the earth. They will spread west and east, north and south. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you and your descendants. I am with you and I will protect you everywhere you go. And I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Then Jacob woke from his sleep. He said, Surely the Lord is in this place. But I did not know it. Jacob was afraid. He said, This place frightens me. It is surely the house of God and the gate of heaven. Jacob rose early in the morning. He took the stone he had slept on and set it up on its end. Then he poured olive oil on the top of it. 
At first, the name of that city was Luz. But Jacob named it Bethel. Then Jacob made a promise. He said, I want God to be with me and protect me on this journey. I want God to give me food to eat and clothes to wear. Then I will be able to return in peace to my father's house. If the Lord does these things, he will be my God. This stone which I have set up on its end will be the house of God. And I will give God one-tenth of all he gives me. Genesis 29 Jacob arrives in northwest Mesopotamia. Then Jacob continued his journey. He came to the land of the people of the east. He looked and saw a well in the field. Three flocks of sheep were lying nearby, because they drank water from this well. A large stone covered the mouth of the well. All the flocks would gather there. The shepherds would roll the stone away from the well and water the sheep. Then they would put the stone back in its place. Jacob said to the shepherds there, My brothers, where are you from? They answered, We are from Haran. Then Jacob asked, Do you know Laban grandson of Nahar? They answered, We know him. Then Jacob asked, How is he? They answered, He is well. Look, his daughter Rachel is coming now with his sheep. Jacob said, But look, it is still the middle part of the day. It is not time for the sheep to be gathered for the night. So give them water and let them go back into the pasture. But they said, we cannot do that until all the flocks are gathered. Then we will roll away the stone from the mouth of the well and water the sheep. While Jacob was talking with the shepherds, Rachel came with her father's sheep. It was her job to take care of the sheep. Then Jacob saw Laban's daughter Rachel and Laban's sheep. So he went to the well and rolled the stone from its mouth. Then he watered Laban's sheep. Now Laban was the brother of Rebekah, Jacob's mother. Then Jacob kissed Rachel and cried. He told her that he was from her father's family. He said that he was the son of Rebekah. So Rachel ran home and told her father. When Laban heard the news about his sister's son Jacob, Laban ran to meet him. Laban hugged him and kissed him and brought him to his house. Jacob told Laban everything that had happened. Then Laban said, You are my own flesh and blood. Jacob is tricked. So Jacob stayed there a month. Then Laban said to Jacob, You are my relative. But it is not right for you to keep on working for me without pay. What would you like me to pay you? Now Laban had two daughters. The older was Leah, and the younger was Rachel. 
Leah had weak eyes, but Rachel was very beautiful. Jacob loved Rachel. So he said to Laban, let me marry your younger daughter Rachel. If you will, I will work seven years for you. Laban said, it would be better for her to marry you than someone else. So stay here with me. So Jacob worked for Laban seven years so he could marry Rachel. But they seemed to him like just a few days. This was because he loved Rachel very much. After seven years Jacob said to Laban, Give me Rachel so that I may marry her. The time I promised to work for you is over. So Laban gave a feast for all the people there. That evening Laban brought his daughter Leah to Jacob. Jacob and Leah had intimate relations together. Laban gave his slave girl Zilpah to his daughter to be her servant. In the morning Jacob saw that he had had intimate relations with Leah. He said to Laban, What have you done to me? I worked hard for you so that I could marry Rachel. Why did you trick me? Laban said, In our country we do not allow the younger daughter to marry before the older daughter. But complete the full week of the marriage ceremony with Leah. I will give you Rachel to marry also. But you must serve me another seven years. So Jacob did this and completed the week with Leah. Then Laban gave him his daughter Rachel as a wife. Laban gave his slave girl Bilhah to his daughter Rachel to be her servant. So Jacob had intimate relations with Rachel also. And Jacob loved Rachel more than Leah. Jacob worked for Laban for another seven years. Jacob's family grows. The Lord saw that Jacob loved Rachel more than Leah. So the Lord made it possible for Leah to have children. But Rachel did not have any children. Leah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Reuben because she said, The Lord has seen my troubles. Surely now my husband will love me. Leah became pregnant again and gave birth to another son. She named him Simeon. She said, The Lord has heard that I am not loved. So he gave me this son. Leah became pregnant again and gave birth to another son. She named him Levi. Leah said, Now, surely my husband will be close to me. I have given him three sons. Then Leah gave birth to another son. She named him Judah. Leah named him this because she said, Now I will praise the Lord. Then Leah stopped having children. Genesis 30 Rachel saw that she was not giving birth to children for Jacob. So she envied her sister Leah. Rachel said to Jacob, Give me children or I'll die. Jacob became angry with her. 
He said, Can I do what only God can do? He is the one who has kept you from having children. Then Rachel said, Here is my slave girl Bilhah. Have physical relations with her so she can give birth to a child for me. Then I can have my own family through her. So Rachel gave Bilhah, her slave girl, to Jacob as a wife. And he had physical relations with her. She became pregnant and gave Jacob a son. Rachel said, God has declared me innocent. He has listened to my prayer and has given me a son. So Rachel named this son Dan. Bilhah became pregnant again and gave Jacob a second son. Rachel said, I have struggled hard with my sister. And I have one. So she named that son Naphtali. Leah saw that she had stopped having children. So she gave her slave girl Zilpah to Jacob as a wife. Then Zilpah had a son. Leah said, I am lucky. So she named her son Gad. Zilpah gave birth to another son. Leah said, I am very happy. Now women will call me happy. So she named that son Asher. During the wheat harvest Reuben went into the field and found some mandric plants. He brought them to his mother Leah. But Rachel said to Leah, Please give me some of your son's mandrakes. Leah answered, You have already taken away my husband. Now you are trying to take away my son's mandrakes. But Rachel answered, If you will give me your son's mandrakes, you may sleep with Jacob tonight. When Jacob came in from the field that night, Leah went out to meet him. She said, You will have intimate relations with me tonight. I have paid for you with my son's mandrakes. So Jacob slept with her that night. Then God answered Leah's prayer, and she became pregnant again. She gave birth to a fifth son. Leah said, God has given me what I paid for, because I gave my slave girl to my husband. So Leah named her son Issachar. Leah became pregnant again and gave birth to a sixth son. She said, God has given me a fine gift. Now surely Jacob will honor me because I have given him six sons. So Leah named the son Zebulun. Later Leah gave birth to a daughter. She named her Dinah. Then God remembered Rachel and answered her prayer. God made it possible for her to have children. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She said, God has taken away my shame. She named him Joseph. Rachel said, I wish the Lord would give me another son. Jacob tricks Laban. 
After the birth of Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Now let me go to my own home and country. Give me my wives and my children, and let me go. I have earned them by working for you. You know that I served you well. Laban said to him, If I have pleased you, please stay. I know the Lord has blessed me because of you. Tell me what I should pay you, and I will give it to you. Jacob answered, You know that I have worked hard for you. Your flocks have grown while I cared for them. When I came, you had little. Now you have much. Every time I did something for you, the Lord blessed you. But when will I be able to do something for my own family? Laban asked, Then what should I give you? Jacob answered, I don't want you to give me anything. Just do this one thing. Then I will come back and take care of your flocks. Today let me go through all your flocks of white sheep and black goats. I will take every spotted or speckled lamb. I will take every black lamb and every spotted or speckled goat. That will be my pay. In the future you can easily see if I am honest. You can come to look at my flocks. If I have any goat that isn't speckled or spotted or any sheep that isn't black, you will know I stole it. Laban answered, Agreed. We will do what you ask. But that day Laban took away all the male goats that had streaks or spots. And he took all the speckled and spotted female goats, all those that had white on them. And he took all the black sheep. He told his sons to watch over them. Laban took these animals to a place that was three days' journey away from Jacob. Jacob took care of all the animals that were left. So Jacob cut green branches from poplar, almond, and plane trees. He peeled off some of the bark so that the branches had white stripes on them. He put the branches in front of the flocks at the watering places. When the animals came to drink, they also mated there. So the goats mated in front of the branches. Then the young that were born were streaked, speckled, or spotted. Jacob separated the young animals from the others. And he made them face the streaked and dark animals in Laban's flock. Jacob kept his animals separate from Laban's. When the stronger animals in the flock were mating, Jacob put the branches before their eyes. This was so the animals would mate near the branches. But when the weaker animals mated, Jacob did not put the branches there. So the animals born from the weaker animals were Laban's. And the animals born from the stronger animals were Jacob's. In this way Jacob became very rich. He had large flocks, many male and female servants, camels, and donkeys.